What's something you can do that you know will make you happy? Like a good, just like quality time for myself, which would be stretching, eating something good, and then doing something fun, like going to a comedy show. Just like, you know, easy, nice stuff. Yeah, something that makes your body feel good and something that can make you laugh and yeah. put you in a good mood. But what about for you? Um, spending time with people I love and care about and making art, traveling, exploring. I love that. What kind of art do you make? Um, I'm a graphic designer and a little bit of photography. Oh, hell yeah. I do photography. He does photography. We got that's That's why we're all here. <laughs> um, what's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? is to actually not to listen to other people's advice because everybody sees life through their point of view and even if it's like well intentioned advice like every life is different so I, it can bring you away from what your intuition initially told you to do mm. so it's 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 good to listen to advice but don't do it too much i guess yeah, how about you? Mm, never assume that any moment is permanent and we'll, we'll, like, what's an example? What's something that you think about that? If it's a positive one, cherish it. If it's a negative one, it's not the whole story, and it can change into something more beautiful. Oh yeah, I love that. How important is it to listen to your intuition? Very important. Like, I've had so many situations in my life that are almost like eerie because I just like small things. Like for instance, yesterday I went to downtown LA and I was looking for a parking lot. So I only had $7 cash on me and they didn't take any card. I was circling around. I had an appointment, it was important. And then I just said, okay, let's take a left turn. Even though I was away from where I was supposed to go, $7 a parking garage, it was right there. And it was like a weird thought that I had. I just followed it and it was what I needed. It was meant to be. Yeah. And how about for you? Uh, intuition, very important, but you need to first learn how to find it and listen to it. So not every gut feeling is important. You need to identify what's impulsive and what's an actual intuition. And once you have that nailed down, then yes, it's, it is important. And what's a good way for someone to be able to figure out what's a gut impulsive decision and what's actually listening to your in intuition? I think timing is one, right? Like, yes, tuition comes quickly, but you also need to take some time to process it. And I think um, you also just need to understand yourself and like what matters to you, what doesn't, and see if that decision aligns with your values or not. Hell yeah. I, lo I love it. You guys are awesome. Let's see what else we got in here. How do you set yourself up for success? I have a routine, and I follow that routine. It's that simple. Day daily routine? Yeah. And is it to start with the morning, as soon as you wake up, you have some type of morning routine? I don't have a morning routine that I follow like rigorously. It's more like I have certain bullet points in my calendar that I want to get checked off that day. And then once I wake up, I see what makes most sense to start with. And if I'm like done with everything by like 4 p.m., I'm happy. Um. <clears throat> I think having a, a path and a direction and a plan and following that. Are you, are you both in relationships? I am. You both, have you both been in love? Yeah. Okay, so what, what's, what is something, what's an important lesson that love has taught you? It's painful. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a good way to put it. That love has taught me well, everything. I mean, it's it's the reason why we keep moving. Like life has so many painful challenges, and like love is like the little spark. No, it's not a little spark. It's this huge thing that makes everything make sense. And then you wake up when you're in love, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna do this no matter how hard it is, like a job or whatever it is. When you're in love, it's just easier to do. It's like the reason why we exist. Um that it's crucial to have love in life. However, it's not the only thing and it's not enough. In love, it doesn't have to be romantic love. It can be love to a person or an animal. Like it, you know, any love, anything that makes you happy, like that is a connection with another person or animal, that's love. And what's the best way for someone to deal with heartbreak? Uh, just like face it. And like have a good ratio between facing the pain, but also like 
keep yourself happy, like distract yourself, but not too much. You know, keep it at a good balance where you process it in a healthy way, but don't beat yourself up unnecessarily. And what's a healthy way to process it? Just go out there and meet people and see that there is um, things and people out there that you didn't even think about existed. And fill your life. When those positive, those activities, those things you do to consume your day, they need to be positive and, you know, well-purposed activities, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about you? Uh, for heartbreak, yeah. um, I think a few things. One, you have to understand why it didn't work out and the right relationship is not fragile. Uh, two, there is always something else out there. And three, you just have to... Oh, fuck, I forgot, actually. <laughs> That's good. Just to... and, and what do you say to someone who doesn't know why and they're trying to figure it out? Doesn't know why it didn't work out? Yeah. Um, it didn't work out. Like, why? I mean, it, there's only two people in a relationship, right? So it's either you or them or a combination of you both didn't work out. And if you tried and you did the work and you did the communication and all of that and it didn't work, you have to let go. It all, it all comes down to the communication and both parties being able to sit down and have a mature conversation on what went wrong. Yes, for sure. Hell yeah. Well, what do you, so what are you guys up to for the rest of the day? Hang out, get a glass of wine, watch the sunset. Um, Ooh, wine and sunset on the beach? With a, with a camera. <laughs> yeah, hey, you, when you come to Venice Beach, you never know what you're, what you're going to get into. Right, right. <laughs> well, hell yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys. appreciate your time. And I hope the, the wine and the sunset is everything you're hoping for. Thank you. Very nice meeting you as well. Thank you. Hi, Joe. What was your guys' name? Jessica. Jessica. I'm Kevin. Okay. Right here.